Hello and welcome gamers to Halo Clans for today's interview. Today's interview is with Arrow Reborn, Arrow SS, and Vigilante Arrow, and many other of his gamer tags I'm not going to include. Um, he is the current leader of the 82nd Airborne division? Uh, no. Is no, that? I'm, well, no, my clan merged with, uh, was it, Paternalizes clan, so right now we're known as the COG. I'm one of the chairmen of the COG. Alrighty, um, go ahead. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, go <laughs> ahead and, uh, tell us some of your, uh, personal clan history. Uh, um, first thing I came into the community was back in, like, late 2010, early 2011, like, you know, like, the end of 2010, and then I came around 2011, back when, uh, was it the United Nations was actually, you know, a big thing. Um, I didn't really know many people, I mean, I knew the, some of the people in the UN, um, basically Arrow started off, like, you know, in Halo Reach, but before that we were on Call of Duty, um, was it? I was one of the first Halo players. I said, hey, let's move over to Halo. And, well, apparently we got into our first raid. We didn't know what a raid was, so we just got kind of lost with that. Um, later on down that road, Halo 4 came out, so we decided to keep, you know, Call of Duty up and Red Dead. Um, you know, Red Dead Redemption. Um, it was a good game for us, but uh, we weren't exactly anything big. I guess you could say we were somewhat isolated back on Halo 4. Um, we tried to become something, and then uh, when first generation ended, we had a couple traitors, and well, I kind of gave up. After that time, uh, was it the first generation lasted two years, up to like 2013? So I decided to join Upsilon with uh, Black One. Black One was a pretty chill dude at the time. Um, Upsilon was probably one of the greatest clans I've, uh, I was ever in. Um, so I became a warrant officer within that clan uh, after two months, led the Marines um, into like raids, training sessions, and so on and so forth. After that, I told Black One, hey, uh, I'm going to back out. Uh, it's a great clan, but I want to see if I can try and rebuild Arrow again. Second generation came around, and we were at our peak. We had a lot of members. It was not on Halo, but uh, we were scattered across other games and stuff. Then uh, that ended in like 2014, really fast, due to even more traitors and uh, other uh, problems within the clan because the amount of people we had. So I gave up again, waited a couple more months later on. Uh, I went to join Legacy Nation. Um, it was a competitive clan. Um, we did like one raid against the UNR that, that didn't go so well because when I left the game, the whole game lagged out. And apparently the leader said I was not a part of the clan even though I did stuff for the clan and well I just said hey you know what I'm gonna just back out of this then I joined the UNAO the United as one um, was led by Crixus 741 um, he had a lot of problems with his clan I tried helping him out um, was if you were trying to get things going and then we got into a battle with UF Matrix wannabes of the United uh, Forces or at least I considered them that. And then, well, later on, uh, everyone betrayed Crixus because uh, they didn't like how he was acting. He was acting very rude, very provocative, and, well, I don't want to like going on about him, but he was... Something went wrong with him. But, um, what is it? He was, like, basically, he just went out of control. So I just said, hey, I'm going to back out. And, a lot of, and I took a lot of people with and well, we decided to build our own clan on Halo Reach. Uh, that ended a month later because we didn't know how to, we couldn't organize ourselves on Reach. So we waited till like the beginning of summer. Arrow came back for the third time, third generation, Arrow Nation. Uh, we made many enemies, many rivals down the road. It was, it was incredible how we made this one our like best, even though it was like our, you know, we. It wasn't compared to second generation, but um, was it? Basically, uh, was it? There were clans like Omicron, BA, USSR. They they were like our rivals back in the day. Um, back when it was around, we there's there's still somewhat our rivals today, even though the clan's not around. But you know, we try to keep a lookout. 
And well, after that I went to Plague. Plague ended, came back. And well, now I'm in the COG. Some people would call you a professional clan hopper with as many clans as you've been in, but it's kind of been at a slow pace. Um, other than the clan you are in now, or clans that you uh, have started yourself, what has been your favorite clan that you have been in? Um, like that I've led, or like, you know, just overall that I've been in. Just overall that you've been in. Alright, well, I would probably say, um, what is it? I would probably say Arrow Nation when it was at its prime, which was like back when Halo Reach became free. Um, that was probably like one of my most favorite times because we actually had, you know, two 16 person lobbies uh, going. It was actually pretty, it was actually great. You know, if we wanted to do a practice raid, we would actually have a lineup of people. So, you know, we could just pull in people when someone leaves the game. All right. Um, what is uh, COG's current member count at? Um, our current member count is probably uh, probably about thirty or forty at the moment. It's slowly rising. We're planning to push the MCC in like August. All right. Um, wow, that's right before Halo Five. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, is COG uh, military or competitive based? Um, we're military as of now. We have competitive players on MCC, so hopefully we can get our competitive uh, team going. Alright, because I do know that you're uh, centralized based around competitive player yourself. Um, yeah. So, uh, what is your clan's goals for the future? Um, our goals are, well, one of them is to take out Plague. Um, was it go to Halo 5 and was it try and become, you know, one of the uh, most powerful clans in the community, um, or the most powerful as we can be, I guess you could say. Alright, um, looking forward to Halo 5, what do you most want to see put in the game? Um, the most that I want to see, I want to know, like, is it's competitive, like, it's going to be good because I mean even though we played the beta and we saw a little bit of it I want to know like are the toggle settings going to work with the maps like because when I played the uh, the beta uh, me and a friend of mine we tested out a few things like will this work without this and it just it wasn't played properly we want to know if like uh, like you know the old settings like Halo 3 we want to know if it's like playable with the map like it's play it's like it's properly with the map like it just doesn't feel right when you don't ha like if you don't have sprint or you don't have clamber you know what i mean yeah I, most thing i'm probably gonna miss is uh chicken jumping with the chicken uh, jump. crou crouch jumping because of yeah. the uh, jetpack thing or whatever the hell it is um the thrust pack yeah it, it just makes you hang there in air and get shot and i'm like no and uh yeah. So that was one of the major things that I was going to miss. Does COG have beef with any clan, and if so, why? Um, Plague, that's probably the only one, because of, was it, Z4 Bros tried lying to me, saying that UN Director is going to quote-unquote betray me. I asked UN Director if he was, and UN Director was pissed off, because me and him are close friends, all right? Like, we, I mean, even though we've known each other for, like, a month now uh at first we didn't like each other because um i thought he was sent by rsl to 1v1 me or something but then we became chill and like later on uh once uh you once i told you and director about what z4 said to me uh he took that like it, like i was like his close friend or something and he said that uh he's coming for plague and i agreed with it so that's basically why. I'll probably send you the link of the video of what he said exactly. Like, he put detail into it. Alright, then, uh, if you send me that link, it will be listed down in the description below for the viewers out there. Um, I think that's actually about it for my questions. Do you have a recruitment message or even ask me a question? Um, what is it? I don't really exactly have a question or anything, but, um, the people that think I'm a clan hopper, I kind of find that funny. I mean, like, 
I've been, like, the only reason people say I'm a clan hopper is because I, when I was in Plague, like, at first, when it was on Reach, Plague ended, like, two weeks, like, two, three weeks after I joined, and then, um, I went to BA, I didn't like it, I'm not gonna say why, but, um, I didn't like how BA was, and then I went to LN, and I was in there for about three months, so I don't get where the whole clan hopping thing started, where that came from. Alright, um... Well, oh, I'd like to ask people about that. Well, I've... Other than the fact that you've probably been in about... What? Hang on a second, let me pull up the thing. Anyway, somewhere around five. Yeah. It, it, it's it's kind of up there compared to what normal new people are used to, and that's probably why they view it that way. Um, Alright. But... Well, that's actually about it for this interview. Um, so uh, I guess we're Audi 5000. See you guys on the next interview. This has been Halo Clan signing out.